advanced hydrogen. Um, I haven't made a video in a long time. I've kind of been messing around with some other experiments and just got seriously into computer work. That's primarily what I do for a living. Anyways, I'm back. I'll start making videos again. I've come across some very interesting uh, things that uh, I've discovered. Um, first off, here's my Bronco. It's a 67 Bronco with a 302 in it. I'm going to go ahead and jump the solenoid that runs my cell. Okay. As you can see, immediately I get some pretty good output here. Pretty good sized bubbles. Um, we're looking at 14, 15 amps. It'll stabilize in a minute, it'll probably start coming down. At 12.94, uh, I don't have the engine running, but I'm keeping my battery charged with this uh, power supply I have here. It's a, 14 and a half volt at 16 and a half amps. It'll the amperage and voltage will go up and down depending on the load. <clears throat> so right now we're at just under 13 amps at I mean it's giving me 13 volts. 12 volts now at 16, 15 amps around there. What I've got here is a quite an interesting unit. It's an 11 plate dry cell with three 16L plates. They're laser cut. Uh, a friend of mine um, from Eagle Laser made the plates and the gaskets and the polycarbonate for me. Um, I made the bracket. The uh, weird thing about this is, is that it's not just distilled water and uh, KOH, which is potassium hydroxide. I actually have um, silver 20 nanometer nanoparticles in here. I have one milliliter aqueous suspension of nanoparticles. I want, to, I want you to see this when I open this up. See the amount of gas coming out of this thing? Um, if you look at the electrolyte, the electrolyte looks dirty. It almost looks like the same type of electrolyte you get when you have 304 stainless. And um, so you can see the gas swirling around. See it? Um, the best thing that I could figure that gas is from doing research on the internet is since I am using um, silver nanoparticles, and nanoparticles are in the shape of what's called a buckyball. It actually looks like a soccer ball that um, is hollow, like, like the skeleton of a soccer ball. The best thing that I could figure is is that uh, the uh, hydrogen is being trapped inside of the buckyballs. And I went on that line and I did some research, and there's actually uh, some companies that sell um, hydrogen cells that have nanoparticles in them. There's a company that sells the electrolyte that has nanoparticles, either silver, um, nickel, palladium, gold, they also sell plates that are that have nanoparticles bonded to them, and so when I get some money, I'm gonna go ahead and buy some of these plates and some of this uh, electrolyte from this company and start playing with the cell. They said they've got six by six plates that'll go into one of these, so we'll see. So I messed up earlier. I opened up the reservoir now so you can see the gas. See it? And that's it. You know, 16 amps. I won't tell you what this is. If anybody's smart to figure this out then you'll know what you're looking at. But there's a reason why that's on there. And um, probably later, I'm losing my electrolyte here. It's pouring out down there. Uh, probably later on, I'll, I'll let you know what this is. But it's another experiment I'm doing. And uh, there's a good reason why that's there, that weird looking thing. Uh, I'll make a video of it later once I get some more data. But as you can see, the output's pretty good for a cell running. Right now, this is at 14 amps. You see the size of those bubbles? I'll put my hand down there. See, it, you know, those are pretty large. That's some really good output for a cell running at, right now, it's at 14.30 amps. And you can hear it, too. Listen. Okay. And uh, here's my output. You can see 
the gas really isn't visible anymore. So there's a hint as to what's going on here. Um, I disconnected it so I wouldn't blow my Bronco up. So anyways, that's what I'm experimenting with. I'm experimenting with uh, hydrogen cells that have uh, nanoparticles in them. And my camera's not focusing for some reason. Um, you can use silver nano, which silver nano is non-magnetic. It is not magnetic. Nickel nanoparticles are magnetic. Okay, you uh, put a magnet on them, and the nickel will stick to a magnet. And I know some of you are going to argue with me and say, "Oh, they're not," but yes, they are. Uh, I'm also doing another little experiment. Uh, I've talked to a fellow named Leonard Griffin. I have a cell phone number. We talked back and forth a couple of times. Uh, I kind of want to talk to him and see what it is that he would want to throw out open source, and maybe with a little collaboration or corroboration. Or I don't know what that five dollar word is. Maybe if he helps me. Um, I can start doing some cells that have uh, different types of chemicals and metals in them, and maybe that may be entertaining. He actually doesn't live too far from me, about oh, about 100 miles, and uh, he's a real nice fellow. I talked to him. Look up Leonard Griffin on the internet. He has patents, and you can also see his uh, colloidal uh, metal reactors that are on there. And I would like to make one of his reactors and start doing experiments and maybe doing YouTube videos of it. So anyways, advanced hydrogen. Um, keep watching. I'm going to start uploading videos again and let you know what happens with these experiments I'm doing with nanoparticles and low amperage. This is still about 13 amps. So look, look at that. See? I never got gas like that, visible gas. Uh, you usually had to have 30, 40, or 50 amps running. And... Uh, there's just no way. I mean, I'll show you one more time when this thing turns back on. See, 13 amps, 15, 16, that's yeah, jumping around. But uh, at least you could say it's not over 20 because it's not going anywhere near that. See? And here's what the cell looks like. As you can see, um, my efficiency is suffering because I'm only the cell's only filling up halfway. Um, I know why it's doing this. So I'm going to fix it. But for right now, it's just fine for what I'm playing with. Um, I'll, I'll give you guys a hint. The lower the cell is in relation to the reservoir, the more efficient your cell will be. If this cell were down below my bumper, like under here, then this line would actually go up, probably to right here where the nut's at. Um, it's the head pressure of the water. What happens is the gas is pushing down the water, and um, you know, the farther away you get from your reservoir, the, the more level you are with your reservoir, the, the more this is going to happen to you. I've actually seen cells where it was just down here, and, you know, just water at the very bottom. Uh, also, another indicator is my efficiency suffering. See how the gas is coming out of this hole? That means that the plate behind here, that the gas is actually coming all the way down. So my efficiency stinks on this cell right now. Um, I, I really need to fix this, and I will fix this. I have an idea how to do it. And so next video I make, um, my gas output should be up here my finger's at, all the way back. And I mean, we shouldn't see this happening anymore. See this? That shouldn't be happening right there. But anyways, advanced hydrogen. Um, you guys have a good day running at uh, 15, 16 amps, 17 amps. Okay, 17 amps with uh, <laughs> pretty hefty uh, visible gas. And pretty good output. See it? Those bubbles are big. Here's my fingers down there. See? They're pretty huge. All right.